today I will speak on the revelation of gathering. First of all, what is the definition of gathering? Gathering is an act of where more than two people are in one place doing one thing. For example, school. School can be considered a gathering because many people are coming to one place at the same time to do one thing. And this example is learning. Another example of gathering is maybe hanging out with friends. You and your friends are gathering together to do one thing. One more example of gathering is going to work. Many people going to the same place at the same time to fulfill a task that was given to them. Gathering has the power to make people work in union to get one thing done. Now, sons of God, gathering has many powers, but here are three that have a lot of different powers connected to it. Number one, gathering has the power to attract the Holy Spirit. This is the revelation and the gift behind church. In the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 22, it says, Wherever two or three of you come together in my name, I am there. This is the reason for church and gathering sons of God. When saints come together to praise and worship the Father, the Lord dwells inside of that atmosphere. Now this is also the importance of family prayer. In the morning, when you wake up, gather with your family to praise the Lord, the Holy Spirit dwells in that atmosphere with you, around you, and throughout your day. Now, sons of God, the second power that comes with gathering is that it builds community with people. This is the power behind the unity of the saints. When we gather together, we have become one. One in the eyes of God, one in the body of Christ. Now, when we become one sons of God, the Lord can come to earth to receive his glorious bride. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 25, it says, Let us not neglect meeting together, as some has made it a habit, but let us encourage one another, and all the more as you see the days approaching. Let us not neglect meeting together. Let us not forget to come to church. Let us not forget to receive and to download more revelation for our spirits because this is how you stay holy in the end days. And have some of us made it a habit? A lot of people come to church daily, come to church to worship the Father, to receive more in the Spirit, but it's your job to make sure that your family members are doing the same, to encourage one another around us but let us encourage one another. There are many people in this world, sons of God, who have not given their lives to Christ, who have been living inside of sin. It is our job as the saints to make sure that those people have a chance of salvation. You must know many people in this world, sons of God. You must have many different friends. Some of those friends might not believe in God, and it's your duty to encourage them to to have their faith. This means, sons of God, the Lord is coming soon. He is here to receive his glorious bride, and it's your duty to make sure that more people are captured inside of that glory. And the third power that comes with gathering is that it can put people together to do one thing, to accomplish many things. Sons of God, this is one principle that is used very mightily in our world today. For example, in school, when there's a class project happening, the teacher might say, partner up or get into groups of two or three. This is because you understand the principle of gathering, that when you come together with people, you can get a glorious victory. This is also used mightily spiritually. On Fridays or sometimes during service, we gather to roar. We gather to pray. We gather to reclaim back thrones or to get higher in spiritual dimensions. Now, when we gather sons of God, we are coming together in unity. We become an army. And when we pray, the Holy Spirit descends. He comes and dwells in the atmosphere, giving us a greater victory. Now, this is also used physically. This example I'm gonna give is in a surgical area. There is always a head surgeon, the head, the person who leads. That is what you see first. But behind the scenes, there's always a team. 
There's always a group of people who come together to give their opinions, to share their points of views, to get a greater insight and to get a deeper victory. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 26, it says, When then shall we say, brothers, when you have come together, everyone has psalms or a teaching, a revelation, a tongue, or an interpretation. All of these must be done to build up the church. Sons of God, everyone has their point of view. Everyone has their own view on a situation that occurs. Going back to the example of the surgeon, everyone sees the same thing in different ways. Now, when you share those, those differences together, you're able to get a deeper insight into whatever concept you're going for. Now, sons of God, there's a counterfeit part of gathering as well. The same way that is good is the same way that can be bad. Some examples of good gatherings coming to church, roaring, hanging out with godly friends, and family prayer, praying together. Now, when you do this, you are bringing the Holy Spirit down and dwelling inside of the atmosphere. Now, the same way the Holy Spirit dwells in a holy atmosphere is the same way demonic forces dwell in unholy atmospheres as well. For example, hanging out with ungodly friends. They have wrong morals, wrong thoughts going through their minds, therefore wrong frequencies inside the atmosphere. Another example, clubbing, wrong music, wrong dances, wrong outfits. All of this is giving an ungodly frequency and that ungodly frequency is going to attract demons. In this specific one, clubbing, it can attract the demons of lust, the demons of adultery and the demons of fornication. And instead of being filled with the Holy Spirit, you're being filled with those challenges, that next stronghold that can hinder your next ascension. This is why it's important to watch who you gather with. In the book of 1 Corinthians, in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33, it says, Do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good manners. Youths, do not be deceived. Bad gatherings, bad friends, corrupt good manners. It doesn't matter how holy you've been. It doesn't matter how long you've strived in your sanctification. Wrong people will bring that down because they will carry ungodly frequencies. And those frequencies of godliness and ungodliness will begin to clash. They will begin to war. And most of the time, because there's a lot of ungodly people in the world, the saints surrender to that ungodly frequency and end up compromising your faith. It's important to know, sons of God, that as a son of God, you need to watch your gatherings. You need to watch who you keep around you. You need to watch who you keep close to you. Now, this can also be inside a family. A lot of people's family have bad backgrounds, bad ancestry. And when you connect with those people, they start to infuse that into you. This is why you must watch who you gather with. Now, sons of God, gathering can be an upliftment to your spiritual journey as well. This shouldn't come as come as a surprise to you because I have said that when you gather together in holiness the Holy Spirit dwells in that atmosphere and when the Holy Spirit dwells inside of an atmosphere holiness is infused and when holiness is infused into you you start to work in holiness and holiness leads you to sanctification and when you strive in sanctification the Lord will take a hold of your footsteps leading you into conquering your next mandate the people you gather with will be a good, a great stumbling block or an upliftment to your spiritual journey. For example, when you're constantly gathering in church, you are constantly dwelling in a holy atmosphere. Now, when you're constantly dwelling in a holy atmosphere, holiness will naturally be infused into you. When you walk around, you're having holiness walking beside you, inside you, and you're naturally going in the right path. But if you're avoiding church and deciding to go to your friends' parties, going out to markets, or just doing the wrong thing in general, your body, your spirit is getting used to that ungodly frequency. Now, one day when you do come to church or decide to start being holy, those frequencies will clash. 
and you will most likely come and retract from being holy again. This is what most of the saints in this world, the Christians who are still drinking milk, are going through. This is why it's our job as the saints, as the people who can take meat and bones to lead them to their greater victory, to show them how to strive higher. Now, sons of God, what I want you to get from the sermon today is that your gathering is important. Your showing up to church is important. The people you surround yourself with is important. I have many friends who believe in God, but they say, the people I, who I stay around will not affect me. I am me, I have my own decisions. I make my own decisions, I have a choice. But most of the time, the choices you make are in line with the people you stay with. You might have to go to church on a Sunday, but a friend says, come over to my house. What do you think that person will do? The person, the saint who's still drinking milk will choose to hang out with their friend because many, maybe that friend has a connection to many other people, popularity in wherever they are. They will most likely choose that person wanting to become like them. It's important to watch who you keep around you and who you decide to interact with. Sons of God, can we rise on our feet right now and begin to pray in tongues? Retono shatamanda rikayas yanande. Retono shatamasa. Rinanda retono shakayasa. Ramanda retanasha toyosia. Ricotta tamasia. Renanda retarasha tamase. Ricotta toyosha. Ramanda retayashata. Ricotta tanosha. Ramabasha tamanda ricase. Rinanda retono shata. Ramasha tayanda. Rinanda rerosha tayasi. Ricata. Ramanda rerosheta. Rimosha tayanda ricalayashinande. Ramanda rotorosha tamasia. Ricata. Renosha tasinamanda. Renosha tayashika. Remonta tayasha. Ricata nasha tayande. Ramanda retosha tamasa. Ricota tamasiata. Ricata yarenoshata. Remosha tayase. Ricata masha. Remanda rashiataka. Retoshata. Ramanda ricota tayoshata. Ramanda ribaboshata. Ricata. Renosciata. Ramanda rica tatayashinosia. Rebaboshata masiata. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, sons of God, and see you in the realms. <laughs>